spinach is one of those classic recipes that's been enjoyed by generations, but it's loaded with more saturated fat and calories than a nutrient-rich vegetable like spinach deserves. I decided to give it a modern makeover. Hi, I'm Liz Weiss, and you're not going to believe how good my creamless version tastes. Let's get started. I just want to tell you about spinach. Now this is the star of our recipe. I have two 10 ounce boxes of frozen spinach. I cook the spinach according to package directions and then I placed the spinach in a colander and just squeezed out all that excess liquid. This is what I ended up with, concentrated nutrition. I love this convenience ingredient, but I'm gonna get back to that spinach in just a minute. I wanna show you how to make our creamless sauce. I begin with olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, and I'll place about a tablespoon of olive oil in this medium-sized saucepan. And then we want to saute up an onion. This is a small onion, and I just chopped it up into quarter-inch dice. And the onion takes about five minutes to cook. It smells great. Once the onion is cooked, I'm going to add the rest of the olive oil. Two more tablespoons. And... I'm gonna also add two tablespoons of flour. This is all-purpose flour. By combining olive oil, which is a fat, a healthy fat, and flour, we're building what's called a roux, and a roux is going to help to thicken our creamless sauce. I'm just gonna whisk this up till the flour and the fat are combined. I'll cook it for about two minutes. Now, instead of adding cream, which a lot of people would add to this recipe, I'm gonna add low-fat milk. So I'm going to whisk this in, along with just a little bit of seasoning. Once that's whisked in, I'll add salt. This is kosher salt, just three quarters of a teaspoon. And pepper, half a teaspoon of pepper. And a few pinches of nutmeg. Now, if you love nutmeg, add more than a few pinches. But nutmeg is just one of these spices that goes so nicely with cream spinach. It's just kind of a natural. So whisk this together, raise the heat just a little bit, because we want to bring this combination of flour, fat, and milk to a boil. And once it boils, I'm going to lower the heat and just let it simmer until our sauce thickens. Once your sauce is thick, turn the heat off, and then let's go ahead and add Parmesan cheese. This is just a third cup of grated Parmesan. And we have a little bit of cream cheese, just a quarter cup of the light cream cheese. Continuing to thicken, I'll whisk this all together. We're almost ready for the spinach, not quite. See how easy that is? We have our creamless sauce. And now our final ingredient, we're back to our star, and that is spinach, packed with great nutrition. Vitamin A, which keeps our immune system strong. It's good for our eyes. I love adding vegetables to the diet. So just stir that in. Once everything's incorporated, you can season with a little bit more salt and pepper and nutmeg, and you're done. My slimmed down version is rich in flavor and the perfect side dish for any meal. Mmm, that is so delicious. For Meal Makeovers, I'm Liz Weiss.